Yeah, hey, Jenny, the clock has struck midnight for this year's Cinderella of the Big Dance NC State. The Boilers sending the Wolfpack back to North Carolina in a pumpkin. It was a six-point game at the break. Pretty ugly, in fact, but Purdue had the lead, and then they stepped on the gas in the second half, pulling away using a key 14-to-1 run to go and get some distance between them and the Wolfpack. Another great game for Zach Eady and for Matt Painter. 20 years after coming back to his alma mater, he now has the program one win away from a national championship. I thought we were very competitive, that we played hard. We just didn't play great. I don't think either team played great. You know, if you kind of look at their run to get here and our run to get here, both teams were way better offensively than you saw today. But that happens in basketball at times, so you got to give our guys credit for hanging in there and grinding one out. I think that's just kind of how we, we've been all year. Uh, we got vets, uh, we got people that have been, been in a lot of important and, uh, important moments uh, throughout these two years, and uh, you kind of see it, like when, when teams make a run, when we go on a run, we stay even, and we, we stay the same team. 20 points, 12 rebounds for the National Player of the Year, Zach Eady. But it wasn't a very good contest for starting point guard Braden Smith. We'll talk about that coming up a little bit later in sports. And right now, the Boilers are waiting the winner of Alabama UConn. UConn, the reigning national champs, only a four-point lead over that Crimson Tide. So we'll keep an eye on that one for you. In the meantime, reporting live from Glendale, Arizona, Chris Hagan, Fox 59 Sports.